grand opening comes and goes. A couple weeks later, I decide to stop in there. I need the gas. I walk in, and what do I see? Let me show you. When I walked in, I noticed the hookahs. I wasn't overly concerned. I understand that these aren't always used for nefarious things, but quite oftentimes they are used to smoke pot. I wonder what made you assume that people use it quite often to smoke pot. Do you have any friends that smoke pot? Did you ever smoke pot? Did you ever see anybody using a hookah to smoke pot? I'm a pothead. Almost all my friends are potheads. I used to live in Israel where where hookahs cost five bucks a piece. I had 11 hookahs in my house and not once did I ever run across anybody who used a hookah for weed. Not only that, I never even ran across anybody who was curious about using hookah for weed. It's just not practical. If you, have, if you see the size of the bowl, you'd understand that it's too big to fit weed in there. And also the holes that lead from the, from the bowl to the, to the water container on the bottom, you'll notice that they're too big. If somebody actually does decide to put weed in there and light it, it's just going to all drop right into the container of water and no smoke is going to happen because the holes are just too big. You should try to look at a hookah once and try to figure with your own uh, reasoning to see if it makes any sense that anybody would ever use it for weed. I became more concerned when I got to the register and I noticed lazy cakes. So let me see how this goes. You walk into a store, you see something that people never use to smoke pot, and then what makes you more concerned is the fact that you see something called lazy cakes. What exactly made you concerned about it? What even made you start thinking about pot? What connotation did those two things give you, implying that they have anything to do with pot? You see that it says relaxation baked in. Oh, now it makes sense. Obviously there was nothing illegal in these brownies, but they were certainly created to evoke imagery of pot brownies, and I found that extremely unsettling. So instead of concluding that it's just a marketing trick to get potheads to buy it, you figure that it's something that's trying to corrupt people's mind, right? I quickly pulled out my phone and started taking photos. Notice that what made you decide to immediately start taking photos is a bunch of hookahs and a bunch of cakes. As you can see here, they were selling different styles of medicine cases. I thought it was interesting that a medicine case would need to be made in the shape of a cigarette lighter. Actually, those lighters are replicas of a brand called Clipper, which is manufactured in Spain, and a lot of people around the world collect a bunch of kinds of them. There are people who collect them like stamps. I have a friend who has about 2,000 of them. Or a false cigarette. Even a lipstick. Here you can see these pill cases are made in the shape of an automobile cigarette lighter. Why would one need to hide their medication so thoroughly unless it was for an illegal activity? You know, there's something that you creationists really dislike and it's called evidence. You can't just go and use your own judgment to decide. And even if people do use it for, for drugs, so what? It's not paraphernalia. Nobody uses it to consume drugs. You can't shoot heroin with it, and you can't smoke pot with it. I also was able to photograph these pipes and these pipes. They did have some glass pipes and bowls for smoking of illegal drugs, but I was not able to capture those via photograph because there were customers in the way, and I didn't want to be intrusive. And obviously you're such an expert on drugs from personal experience, right? You know what people use to smoke drugs because you have so many drug addict friends, right? You yourself use drugs so many times that you know everything about it. So what did I do? It was a busy day that day in the store and I thought it would not be the right time to say something. The next time I went in there a few days later, I was the only customer and I lodged a complaint. I let the clerks know that I thought it was inappropriate for the store to be selling drug paraphernalia and I thought they were harming the community. How do you get to that conclusion? You think people walk into a gas station and start using drugs because they see pipes being sold there? I felt like they weren't taking my complaint very serious. Why would anybody take you seriously? You gotta be like one of the only people in the world who would be bothered by this thing. 
although the woman did say she would tell the boss when he called later that evening. But she kind of defended it by saying, oh, lots of stores sell this kind of stuff. And she's right. Any pothead who wants to find a pipe can find it pretty much anywhere. If you just make the police come and take all their shit, then you're not going to screw the potheads. You're just going to screw the store owners, mister, and I'm sorry to tell you that. So I, I kind of realized she probably wasn't taking me very serious. It was a Friday. So I left the store and I called the main company that was the franchise name. At this point, any human being who doesn't have sand in his vagina would probably tell you that you've gone a little bit too far. I'm not going to say who it was because I don't want to give them any bad publicity even though I think their customer service was top notch. That's a really nice way to reward them for their nice service. I called them. It was after hours. I left a, a message on their voicemail, not really detailing what was wrong. I just said that a new store near my house, I gave them the address, was selling some items that I thought were objectionable. And you're the only one objecting. Sure enough, Monday morning, I received a call. I'm going to cut the rest of this out because he's making the simple story way too long. Man, there was nothing at that store that you were talking about. I was like, what? He said, yeah, they had a bunch of empty shelves. They still have potato chips and stuff like that and all the things that gas stations sell. He said, but I didn't see any drug paraphernalia. He said, I saw some hookahs and that was it. And he asked the clerk, he said, well, you guys have a bunch of empty shelves. And the clerk said, yeah, someone had complained and the police had shown up and confiscated all the drug paraphernalia. And I bet that clerk thinks you're a fucking asshole. So I thought that was interesting, so I went back to the store, camera in hand, to see if I could capture some uh, empty shelves. And sure enough, all the shelves were stocked. Within one day, they got them stocked, but now they have just food and chips and typical things that gas stations sell. Dude, you should work on your storytelling. That is fucking not relevant to the plot whatsoever. But no more drug paraphernalia, just some hookahs and the, uh, tobacco. I thought it was a pretty cool victory. A victory? What, was it a competition? Did the other side have any defense or chance to compete against you? Some patron you are, you just took a store owner that had perfectly legit business and you just fucked them in the ass. You just fucking confiscated all this shit for no apparent reason just because of your lack of understanding about drugs and you're not even trying to educate yourself or even interested of uh, understanding what you're fighting against because you have no fucking clue what you're fighting against you're just making up shit because you think that well whatever my point my point of view about the world is definitely right so fuck them I'll do whatever the fuck I want I'm not saying I brought it about I called the company and lodged a formal complaint so you did bring it about and you should actually feel really ashamed of yourself for fucking somebody who's done nothing wrong to you whatsoever but obviously other people in the community did not like to see our community be degraded, harmed. And they took matters to the right authorities. Obviously the police showed up and cleared this out. It's a good business to have. It's nice to have the option of a good gas station. More competition, lower prices, good for the economy. But selling drug paraphernalia not necessarily great for our community. And I think it's great that people spoke up. Don't refer to yourself as people, douchebag. I don't know if it's because of my phone call. I hope that there was enough people in the community that called and raised an objection. And finally the community, community did something. Either way, I'll be watching this store and if I start seeing more drug paraphernalia pop up, I will surely report it once again. See, you can make a difference. What he just did made no fucking difference. Any pothead will find where to buy his pipes. All you did was screw a nice store that had excellent service. Now I'm going to prove to you that what you did made no difference. Okay? Let's say that all pipes are banned in the United States and all paraphernalia. You know what potheads are going to do? Like I did. You see this? This little device is my homemade bong, okay? And this is actually working a lot better than any pipe I ever used, so uh, it's made out of a 
plastic bottle and some uh, tube. So uh, you should uh, be ashamed of yourself for screwing the store for something that makes no difference. Call your House of Representatives. Call your Senate. Call your Senate. Senators. Call your local alderman. Call your local mayor's office. Call the Pentagon. Call the President. Call the UN. You see that it says relaxation baked in. You see that it says relaxation baked in. I think you need some relaxation baked in. Uh, I bet you know that many people are smoking weed legally in the United States with a permit. So please tell me, do you think that's bad too? Do you think maybe uh, the state of Denver and California should change their laws to prohibit people from smoking marijuana? The, uh, if it was harmful, do you think the doctors would give it to them? Do you think uh, people would be subscribed marijuana for backaches if it had actually any negative side effects whatsoever? But let me tell you about something that is uh, legal in the United States. It's called salvia divinorum. You know what it is? It's a highly potent hallucinogen. Sorry, not a hallucinogen, it's actually a, a, a dissociative, which is even worse. And in contrary from weed, that actually does cause people to go crazy and try to kill themselves and shit like that. Like any dissociative. Do you really think that alcohol is less harmful to the society than weed is? No. Actually, it's way worse. But why do you think that alcohol is better? Well, I'll tell you why. Because alcohol is mentioned plenty of times in the Bible. If weed would exist then, or if people knew that smoking a plant would make people feel pretty nice and relaxed, then probably every single religious figure in the Bible would be a pothead too. But they just didn't have it, so that's why it's not in there. That's all there is to it. So we think alcohol is fine because uh, every single uh, historical figure in the Bible actually uh, was probably a uh, drunk, but uh, weed is definitely a bad thing because of all the deaths that it caused. Let me even tell you something. Uh, driving under the influence, in my opinion, it doesn't even uh, it doesn't even apply to weed because if you drive under the influence of alcohol you're gonna probably get into an accident and, and you know it depends on the on the dose that's true but um, let's say drunk driving is never a good idea but driving under the influence of marijuana do you really think that being more relaxed and less stressed than normal could cause more accidents so far 15 states in America have legalized weed for people with a permit and the requirements for getting a permit are not so difficult because people understand that there is no harm in weed it's a completely harmless thing and you dare even call it a drug it's not a drug it's a plant the only one who uh, the pharmaceutical company that made that drug is God Almighty okay so if God wouldn't want us to smoke weed he probably wouldn't make it make us high okay so uh, how about I'll use some creationist lo lo logic okay God has created this amazing plant that, it, it, it unexplainably, when you smoke it, you feel really nice and relaxed, and it makes you be a more civilized and calm human being. All your aggression just disappears, and you become a completely harmless individual. You have fun, and you just laugh a little bit more than usual. Well, uh, in that case, that would be the only thing I would agree with religion, okay? And uh, just for the record, if marijuana would be legalized in the United States, you know what it would do for our economy? It would boost our economy like fucking crazy. Try to imagine how much tourism would, would uh, boost in the United States since uh, you could just look at Amsterdam and how many people go there to smoke weed. If we had more tourism, more money would be coming in and that way, we wouldn't be giving so much money to China without getting anything back in return because we would have income too. So not only that, but all the money that's getting out of the United States to Mexico from all the illegal marijuana growing uh, is also money lost uh, that's going to uh, escape the economic system. And of course, the war on drugs cost the country a shitload of money. And the places in prison to put drug uh, marijuana dealers and uh, stuff like that, that also takes a lot of taxpayer money. And I, 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 
that's like a completely uh, different discussion that I don't really want to get into, but you should probably think more about what you hate and why you hate it, because as far as I know, you don't really have any valid reasons to hate this thing.